Well, hi again, welcome to my latest video. Well, in this one, I'm going to open up and test this new device that I purchased. It is top down infrared temperature sensing unit that connects to your iPad or iPhone. I bought this with channel funds in order to do some future projects that I have coming that'll involve temperature measurements. Now, even though I've reviewed a similar type device that was totally standalone and didn't connect to the phone, it was much less quality and had some, you know, slight other issues with it. For example, the inability to calibrate. This one is different. Now, it costs a lot more, as expected, but the features, I believe, are also a lot more. I also believe that you tend to get what you pay for as long as you've done your research and understand what the differences mean. Anyway, let me go over some of the specifications of this unit and we can see what it actually provides. This particular model is for the iPhone 15 or 16 or an iPad, although there are other versions for other smartphone models. It can operate one-handed and is plug and play. It is powered by the phone itself and draws only 0.35 watts and can operate from six to 10 hours. It utilizes something called super resolution or TISR, which provides a resolution of 512 by 384 bits of clarity. The sensed temperature range is from negative four degrees to positive 1022 degrees. It is able to measure temperature as far as 16.4 feet or four meters from the unit. The unit is controlled by the top infrared app provided by the manufacturer of this and is connected to the iPhone either directly to the USB-C port or through a 50 centimeter extension cable that's provided with the unit. With that, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna take a look at what comes inside, which I pretty much described already, but we'll see, maybe there's something surprising. And then I'll set it up on my phone and we'll do a quick little test of it and see how it does, okay? Okay, here it is. I already took the shrink wrap off just to save some time, but it comes in a nice package. There's a lot of good information here in the back and on the side. Anyway, let's open it up. Top done. Oh, it's a nice box. Wow, it has a carrying case in it. I didn't know that. What do we got here in terms of paperwork? Looks like uh, warranty information and a little user manual. Yep. I have to open this thing up, see what's in it. I'll have to spend some time on this before I put it on. Looks like that's it. It's uh, eight and a half by maybe 11, maybe a little bit wider. And it just shows the uh, few steps that you have to follow in order to set it up. I'm gonna have to download the app, which I believe that's what this uh, QR code happens to be. And once I get it set up, I uh, have the unit plugged in and we'll see what happens. What else do we have? The unit itself inside this nice little carrying case. It's really nice, rugged. I like that. Okay. Well, let's look at what it comes with over here. It's got, oh, it looks like a, a lens cleaning cloth, dark blue in this case. Definitely a cleaning cloth. Put that there. We have some cables. Okay, this one here is that extension, the USB-C extension. Let me see how long that happens to be. It's got a rubber band on it. Uh, do my double over. It's about two feet. It's about two feet long, this cable here. Okay. And what we got? another extension. Oh, this one is uh, if you are connecting it to one of the older iPhones. I think it's the fire connector. I don't know why they include that because it doesn't show compatibility with this unit for the old iPhones. But I'll have to check and see what the compatibility is for other ones. They do sell a different type of unit. And here we go. It's a nice little compact unit, a nice solid metal case. 
at least the top and bottom. I'm not sure about the sides and in this case. Doesn't have much to say. There's the, uh, the lens. I'll have to look at it more carefully to see if there's a tear on there. I'll have to take off first. But if I take a look at my phone, let's see if it fits. I've been concerned whether it'll fit with the case on. So if I come over here and I look at it, I have my case will disconnect properly. I may have to use the extension. Well, it's borderline. Uh, I can tell you right now, it's kind of loose. So I'll have to see what happens. I may have to wind up using the extension after all or take the case off. No big deal. I can take that case off easy enough. It'd be nice if I could make sure that it does work, but I guess I'll have to load the app and find out. Okay, so let me do that and I'll come right back. Well, as it turns out, I just wanted to update this in the middle. I cannot connect this directly to my phone. I have to put the little extension on it. And when I do that, it pops right up with the fact that it identified the app that I need. I didn't even have to scan the QR code. So it plugs right in here and I'm able to uh, open this up and see it. So we have the top infrared app. I've already downloaded it by tapping on it. Let me, uh, let me open up the app and see what we get. And there's the app right there loaded. Let me click on it and see what we got. And I guess it's going to go through some setup. So this temperature correction. Let me go through all of these prompts and answer them. And then we'll come back and see what it looks like. And here we go. I answered a couple little questions on it. I didn't give it full access to my photo directory, just limited access. But here it is right now. And as I move it around, you can see the camera right there in the center. It's showing me what the temperature is, 26 degrees centigrade, 25, but the camera itself is 26. If I go closer to it, it might get hotter, I'm not sure. No, it didn't go, it didn't really go higher, but it's showing the hot spot and everything else, 23.5. There's also a light back there, so I'm not sure exactly how much that's going to show. So the light might be generating more power than that. If I turn it around and let's say, you know, look at one of my electronic devices here. This is my stream deck. You can see the buttons. It is active right now. So you can see that there's a hot plate there. I have it upside down too. That would, uh, that would be nice to, to get it right. There we go. That's more like it. So you do have to, if you put it on the extension, like I have it now, you'll have to make sure that you, uh, understand where the top is. It's where the connector's at. So there we go. We can see the temperature's 29 degrees. So the, uh, the stream deck is hotter. Let me point it out to my main light over here. What do we got? That's not that bad. 22.3. Yeah. It goes from 23 to 25. It looks like depending on where I put it on the light. Okay. If I go to my face, what do I got? Oh my goodness, I got a hot face. I am 32 degrees centigrade. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the glasses are a little bit lighter. They put a little bit of uh, blockage on it. But uh, look like some kind of monster in there or something. I don't know. I could take a photo. Let me take a photo of myself. I'll go ahead and hold that like this. And I'll take a photo, this monster photo of me. See what I get. Okay. Going around the room, there's my main computer over there. 31 degrees, my one monitor, 30 degrees. The computer itself, what is that showing? Not that bad, 26 degrees, 27. Okay. Well, it's not that bad when it comes to measuring the overall temperature of the computer. I'm quite far from it, but still within the range, it's supposed to be accurate. There's my light in the current corner, that's 32 degrees, 33 at one point, depending on where I focus it. Okay, so this is, uh, I think, a good start for now. Let me put uh, this hot little light on top. What does it do? It probably is pretty hot. 256 degrees. So this is a handheld light that by itself, because of the color of the light, is pretty hot. So that one really shows up well with that light. Okay. Okay. So that's a quick little demo of this. Uh, what I'll do is 
I'll do some more playing around with it, and uh, if I discover anything else before I finish the editing, I'll add it to this video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.